what are summer sores and why do horses get them? I noticed that some horses get them and others don't. How would you treat them? Okay. We did have a question from uh, on the community comment from that chestnut thoroughbred <laughs> who said, it's summer, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what that means, but all right. So um, summer sores, also called fly sores, the, um, the scientific name, are you ready? Mm -hmm. This is just the episode of the long names. <laughs> this is cutaneous heteronomiasis. Thank you for not Bless asking me, me to say any of these names, but you're, <laughs> you're nailing it. <laughs> um, so it's, it's an interruption in the life cycle of a horse's internal parasite, the stomach worm, hibernema. And what happens is it gets passed out and picked up by flies, and that's all good and proper. But instead of the flies depositing the larva on the mouth of the horse and then it being swallowed and starting the cycle over again. You didn't flinch at all. I thought you were going to make... No. <laughs> okay. Um, the flies deposit the larva on like an open wound or some moist, warm place in the horse's body, mm. the, um, the corners of the eyes, and uh, like there's, if there's an injury or a scrape or something, the, the prep use or sheath. And then there's an allergic component where the horse is like, that ain't right. And then they their body reacts to this misplaced parasitic larva yep. in a pl place where it's not supposed to be. And um, there, it gets to be a sort of an ulcerative, draining, open nodule. It's, it's quite nasty. Yeah, it does not sound like no, fun. It's, <laughs> no, it's nasty. Some are sore. Um, so why do some horses get it and some don't? Probably has to do with your immune system. Mm. You know, how, it's because you can either underreact and, and not do anything and then you get it. You have some sort of sign, or you overreact, and then it's bigger than it needs to be because your body is like, that's not supposed to be there. I'm going to do, I'm going to throw everything at it. Try to fight the hardest yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. So I think it probably has to do with the immune system. Um, so the treatment is you, you want to give them ivermectin to kill the, the parasite itself, mm -hmm. you know, knock that out. Get and to then the root cause of it. Get to the root cause. And then you might need to give some, some steroids to calm everything down and say, everybody go home, relax, nothing to see here. And then um, some antibiotics for the secondary bacterial infection, because if you have a big open draining something, then the bacteria yeah. probably went in there. Um, and again, fly control is uh, a huge a huge part of this. A and, and giving ivermectin once a year. Which is one of your, these are like some of your favorite topics. I see how I sneaked <laughs> into that, parasite control. If we can get door. parasite control in there and, anywhere. And poop, and poop. yeah, yeah, so good topic. That's super helpful. So would you say like, Horses who have more of like a compromise, like senior horses, you're going to see more of this in. No, or? Not, not. I can't say that. That has not been shown. But um, I, I think probably, you know, we, we have horses when we do fecals on them, and we get the high shedders and the low shedders. Who knows why they they do it? So I don't think you can look at a horse and tell his immune system is it, if it's like overpowering or it's sort of, you know, subtle. That's super helpful because I know uh, I'm on the customer care team here at Smart Pack, oh. so we get lots of customers oh. who call in with yeah. that, and it's it's hard because you have to like just talk to your vet and they want yeah. some like yeah. easy cure for it. So yeah, and that's good advice too. Is, is your vet has to be included in this because one, they have to diagnose it. It can look like it can look like other things. It can look like um, proud flush. It can look like a, a sarcoma or sarcoid. So, so you definitely want to rule those things yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, you've got to diagnose those because those will have different treatments and prevention. So get it diagnosed, and then you'll be treating it appropriately. Um, and, that, of course, the vet has to be involved in the treatment.